Pythian Castle in Missouri, the home of castles. Yeah, they got a ton of them here. Well, they certainly know how to make a scary as fuck looking castle. Well, it looks sturdy. That is true. Looks better built than a lot of other places we've been to, I'll tell you that much. Oh boy. What are your thoughts on this one? You feeling the jimmies already? I mean, this looks like a haunted castle. Like if I were to think of what a haunted castle would look like, it looks like this. All right. Pythian Castle. Knock, knock. <laughs> this week on BuzzFeed Unsolved, we investigate the Pythian Castle as part of our ongoing investigation into the question, are ghosts real? With over 100 documented deaths happening within its walls, this stone fortress served as both an orphanage and an army prison throughout its almost 100 year history. Hey, yummy. Hey, yummy. I don't know, it's another castle. I think that's quite- Oh, good. fuck. Our first orphanage and our second castle. Is this our first orphanage? I can't believe the majority of our episodes aren't about orphanages. Well, sounds like we're ready to go. Let's dig in. Let's get into it. How dare you. Completed in 1913, this 40,000 square foot castle was built for the Knights of Pythias, a formerly all-white fraternal organization formed in 1864. Before you even said all-white, I was about to say, they sound like white supremacists. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you'll have no problem antagonizing these ghosts in particular. No, no. Are you saying we are allowed to shit in this castle on the floor? We'll move on. Located about 150 miles outside of Kansas City, Missouri, in the town of Springfield, the castle was originally built to house the widows and orphans of Knights members who had died, as well as elderly members themselves. Consequently, the primary design concern due to the fragile state of its occupants was that the building be fireproof. The architects chose Carthage Stone, a limestone indigenous to the Springfield area. The two foot thick stone on the exterior of the castle was a great choice. But what the architects couldn't have known was that it has another far more mysterious quality. Carthage Stone is reported to not only lure spirit energy to it, but also entrap it once inside. Okay. Just reporting. Who's telling you that? Just reporting Who's what people seem to what? think. Reporting what? Just reporting what people think. You know, it lures spirits and traps them inside. I don't know if it's like that. Like you're not gonna pull it out of your pocket. And be like, look what I got here. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Pseudoscience is what mm -hmm. it's called. I suppose you could call it that. It is. I don't know if I believe or don't believe that. I you mean, know? you don't believe that. No. You don't believe. But I do believe in ghosts. I know you believe in ghosts, that's fair. Yeah. People also seem to think that running water conducts paranormal uh, energy as well as quartz, crystal. I think juggling attracts paranormal energy. Have you been able to prove that? No, it's just something I believe. That's cool. So, I believe that, that, that mustache doesn't attract anything. <laughs> what the hell? Okay! Well? This is certainly a different kind of visual horror than we've seen this season. Spacious, cavernous. A little Hollywood haunted chic. Yeah. Let's turn our lights off actually because you, you really wanna, get to soak in how, feel the how awful this place actually is. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look over there. So there's something about being able to see so many rooms at once. A lot of space for people to explore. Stuff to catch out of the corner of your eye. You look at a room far away, maybe you see something that plays tricks on you, you know. Very fun. I'm gonna lose my mind in here. <laughs> yeah. While the building could house up to 100 residents, it would never reach that capacity. The orphaned children were housed away from any other residents, and historic accounts suggest that life for them at Pythian Castle wasn't an easy one. Boys and girls were strictly forbidden from speaking to each other, even if they were siblings. The children's days were filled with chores and their nights spent in bunkhouse dormitories throughout the castle. Despite their hardship, one woman who lived there as a child in the 1920s said that the orphans would sing on the front porch every night as townspeople would crowd around the gates and fences to hear them. Oh, life is hell. <laughs> We're all so lonely. And there's people outside the fences that are like, yay. Yes. 
The sad children are singing again. We won't help you, but we enjoy the singing. Keep gather going. round, gather round. <laughs> look at the miserable moppets. <laughs> the moppets. <laughs> That's a weird thing to do. Also, they probably weren't very good singers. That's besides the point, but yes. Despite the Knights of Pythias shuttering the original services they provided in the castle after only 26 years, it seems the voices of the children who once lived there, along with the people who cared for them, continue to be heard throughout the property. In 1942, a man visited the castle and later recounted to his brother that as he toured the empty room that was once the children's living quarters, quote, I knew something was not right. I knew I was not alone. I felt two people there with me and thought I heard a woman and a man talking together, but there was nothing there." End quote. One of the ghost tour guides said she once stood in the corner of the same floor and said she'd distinctly heard a child's voice say, hello. Not thinking anything of it, she said hello back, only to turn around and see no one there. Worth saying, it's creepy to be in a castle alone. Well, sure. I actually don't think so. <laughs> We're going into the boys' dormitory. This is where a lot of shadow figures are caught. Little shadow boys? Perhaps. Shadow babies. Greetings. I'm Ryan. I'm Shane. And we're about to enter the boys' dormitory. You'll notice we have a static cam already set up in here. Maybe we caught well, something. Well, I noticed that there's a large stack of blocks that say, I see you die. Well, that's pleasant. Oh, look at that, a little baby. She ain't, she ain't right. Yeah, there's something wrong with her right eye. We gotta take her to some sort of facility. My name is Ryan. I'm Shane. I know that life in this place was not the most fun for you, which is why we're here to have fun with you today. And I hope that will make you feel better. We're fun guys, we're not gonna be mean to you. We're here to just uh, encourage you to, to be children and really just uh, have a good time, play, play with your little cars and toys. Uh, we mean you no harm. We simply would love to uh, communicate with you and put you on YouTube.com. Can hmm? you tell us your name? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just shaking it around like a little baby and you gotta keep them up. Uh... How does that help the investigation even Well, I think maybe they see a little, a little baby moving around. They'll be like, oh, there's a baby. I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little child too. Maybe I should jiggle. Yeah. Logic really falling apart as you speak. Well, I like to head. be very thorough. Okay. Who's in here with us? Anybody want to play? You want to fucking play? Huh? Hey, dude, they're kids. Come on now. Anybody want to play? I know you don't. I know things were strict here. Don't worry, we won't tell on you. Nah, we ain't snitches. Well, you can do whatever the hell you want. I said hell, not. Yeah, yeah, I saw you. kids. I'm proud of you. Do whatever the hell you want. At this moment, our audio recorder catches this distant, disembodied voice. Sort of. What was that? Y yes, that's right. What was that? Well, this is something that might help you talk to us if you want to come out and talk, okay? Is there anybody here with us? Hi, kids. Hi, kids? Uh, What's your name? Susanna? Susanna? Hello, Susanna. My name is Ryan. Tell me, say my name back to me if you want to play. Huh? Uh. Chatty? I don't, I don't mean you any harm. I'm not here to hurt you. I know you might be scared. I promise you I won't hurt you. Uh, you love him? I thought that wasn't... I love you. Her dipshit. Not good. It's not very nice. What's your name? Jimmy? You have a scion? Okay, we're gonna leave now. Don't leave. All right. 
Soon after the onset of World War II, the US government purchased the land on which the castle stood, assuming the property by order of immediate possession for war purposes. On December 23, 1942, the castle was officially reopened as the O'Reilly Service Club and became an administration and service building as part of the Army's new O'Reilly Hospital Complex. It is believed that at one point during World War II, 2,000 people used the service club every day. If I was rich enough to own a castle, what would you do with I it? I would empty it out, yeah, and I would hire strictly Dracula reenactors, and I would have him walk around the castle at different points. Maybe he's in one window, and another one who looks identical is in another window. Mainly just for people in the town to think, I think that castle up there is. Haunted, it's by, haunted Dracula. by a Dracula. It's haunted by Dracula. Would there be I like a not... break room where all the different Draculas were like, "Did you, did Ryan like what you did today?" <laughs> and I would have a bunch of little cameras around to watch, and I'd have like a headset. Dracula three, <laughs> Dracula three to the west window. <laughs> It'd be great. It'd be great, and I would make sure it was not open to the public, and it would be mainly my little mystery mansion. Well, this is deranged. <laughs> I don't think it's that deranged. Okay. It would be non for profit. Well, clearly. And also, You're not going to make a profit on absolutely buying not. a castle and staffing it with Dracula actors. But this is, what kind of profit would you turn from that? Spiritual profit. This is insane. Maybe I'll throw a Frankenstein in there. I don't know. That'd be good. Oh, now it's good? <laughs> I like that. And I could cast you. I'll do it. Uh, I'll save money on makeup. While the nearby hospital took care of the wounded soldiers' medical needs, the upper levels of the castle offered a variety of entertainment opportunities once they were released, including shows and dances. Army amenities aside, one room that has been especially active as of late is the Queen's Suite, with activity that includes alleged possession. This is the Queen's Suite, one certain paranormal show had a person claimed to be possessed in this very room. Really? Oh my goodness, look at this lamp covered in feathers! I gotta say, if, I, if there's a room to be possessed in, is this safe? Ah, this is the one to do it in, baby. A lamp covered in feathers? What? They've got two lamps covered in feathers. That's, I didn't know that was legal. That's two more than I have. Wow. Is there anybody in here with us? Can you tell us your name? Did you hear something? I think I might have heard a whisper there. Can you tell us your name? What was that? Well, I'm gonna have to up the ante here. Who's in here with us? What's your name? Yeah. I Todd? I didn't catch that. What's your name? Wait, what was that? Heartburn? Say our names back to us if you want to communicate. Do you want to? We do want to. Do you want to what? What did that say? Apple teeny? <laughs> I heard apple tater. I've got our old pal. Wait a second. You mean to tell me that apple tater is here? Can I get a spaghetti? spaghetti. Tell us your name. Apple tater. Apple tater? <laughs> Have you followed us? Are you coming back for the final season? I wanted to get in in the last season, boys. If we get spaghetti, that actually might be the most solid ghost evidence that's ever existed. That's true. Come on, give us spaghetti. I'll take meatballs. Ryan? Ryan? Severe allergic reaction? <laughs> hey, what pairs really well with apple taters? Hunger. Hunger, we're getting close. <laughs> what? Wait, did you hear it? Yes! Did you hear spaghetti? I didn't hear it. You didn't hear that? I didn't hear it. Did we get spaghetti? We, we got a spaghetti. Wait, no, we did not. I swear to fucking did God. Did we get fucking spaghetti? We got a spaghetti. It was a mild spaghetti. That was a spaghetti. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah. We got spaghetti! <laughs> They're back, baby! They're back! Let's go. Why, the, why are we the, not just ending the season the right now? greatest ghost hunters in the fucking world. Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you for whoever said that. You're a fan of the show, huh? Not really. I just said it so you'd fucking leave. I think we're done here. 
How are you going to top that? We'll just end the episode here. End Seriously. The end the I mean, series. That was the that fucking the greatest thing I've ever heard. We got spaghetti fucking, and fucking an apple tater. Holy spaghetti. shit, it's dude. It's like a sequel. That's the best thing. I got possessed by fucking content You guys are there. celebrities at this point. Other features of the club included a soda fountain and snack bar, a bowling alley, billiards, and a still functioning movie theater from the original Pythian days that's located on the second floor. How come we can't spend the night at this place? Because there's no- Yeah, sleep in some blood-soaked farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Well, there's no- But when we get to a castle that has a movie theater and a room full of trampolines, I assume they have that. We can't sleep there for the night? As much as I would love to stay in a place with a bowling alley so I could slide you down and watch you hit all the pins, we can't. Real funny. I just thought- You wouldn't do that to me. I wouldn't but I would. However, during the war, the theater also served as the church sanctuary and was where they would hold funerals. EVP recordings from this room reportedly have captured ghostly muffled voices, as well as whispers that just say one word, Lillian. Okay, so we're going into the theater now. This is also the funeral room. There One ticket is. to the funeral, please. Not two? You're not gonna treat me? Two tickets for the funeral. Me and my buddy are here to check out that dead body. All right. Well, let's just go inside and you ruined it. And a popcorn. <laughs> that I like, I like that. Popcorn at a wake? We both gotta make sure that's in our will. Oh, it definitely will be. All right, here's what we're gonna do, folks. I know this is a, a house of cinema, a house of theater. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill our lights and we're gonna give the floor to you. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. In three, two, one. My name is Ryan. Can I'm Shane. I'm Shane. Can you say either of our names back to us just to let us know you want to talk to us? Nice stage. Can someone tell me what happens on this stage? What? Ja what jacket? Bones? Can you tell me the name of the castle that we're in? Kind of sound like Pythian, but I don't know. No. Can you tell me the name of the, the name of the castle? The name of the castle. What is the name of the castle? All right, you lost your chance to talk. That sucks. Ryan, quick idea. What would that be? You know, they're watching a lot of movies, probably a lot of funny things, watching Bob Hope, mm -hmm. funny guy. What if we make them feel like we're part of the crowd? We just laugh for a bit. Oh yeah, we could do that. Make it seem like we're, we're in with them. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, that guy's funny. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Woo! entertaining amenities weren't the only changes the army made to the castle. Down in the basement, the army added rows of what's believed to be prison cells to hold prisoners of war. These prisoners were either being treated at the hospital for injuries or being used for labor around the grounds. According to the current owner, the castle's cells held only the Italian prisoners of war, with one exception. One single Japanese soldier was also held in the cells below the Pythian castle. Reports claim that the soldier was allowed paint and paintbrushes for his own personal use, resulting in two murals that still remain in his cell to this day. So right now we are in one of the cells that a Japanese prisoner of war was kept in. He was a cook, and because of his good behavior, he was given the opportunity to paint on these walls. And as you can see, he painted pictures of his homeland, which is actually pretty, beautiful, pretty nice. I think you recognize this. We got some paintbrushes, we got some canvas, and we got some paint. But I think just the 
presence of this brush here might make you want to communicate with us. Let you know that we're here to talk. We're artsy guys, just like you. Artsy fartsy. We'll give you a chance to use these brushes. If not, we can sort of change wing it and you can close your eyes and be swept away by the spirit and see what he draws you through. You can do some auto writing. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, you uh, have to make that face when you do it. Do that one more time. Yeah, perfect. He's going. And you're, you're being moved right now, right? You're not looking at this. Let me know when, you're, when you feel like you've done it. Okay. What did let's, I get? Let's take a look. Well, that's not it very... It looks like shit. I mean, you could probably hang that at MoMA. I'm just saying, that is art. We were in a haunted cell. I did auto writing and that's what came out. It almost looks like Piglet. From Winnie the Pooh. Recent visitors have reported capturing unexplainable white orbs in photos taken within the eerily quiet basement, as well as becoming violently ill while in the prison cells. Others have claimed to hear disembodied voices in conversation thought to be those of convalescing soldiers once locked inside. Man, what would it be like to be in here? Apparently there was about 60 Italian prisoners of war. Not that many cells down here, so. A lot of them crammed in here. Unpleasant. I'm just gonna jump straight into the spirit box. We might as well. Oh! Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Who's down here with me? We love Italy. We're, we, we love, what? Well, us. us. How long have you been in here? A rough estimate. How long have you been in here? 41. Since 1941, maybe? That would be my guess. Have you been in here since 1941? We're not here to hurt you. We're here to help. Want to figure out why you're still here? Okay. I'm gonna turn this off really soon, so if there's anything you wanna say, say it now. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys? That wasn't very nice. That was actually somewhat successful. An audio recorder left in this jail cell recorded this distant groan of pain. the voice of one of the prisoners of war held in this castle. While most of the spirits who reside within the Pythian castle seem to be benevolent, there is one place where that is definitely not the case. Legend has it that the prisoners of war were transported from the various outbuildings of the O'Reilly Hospital complex to the prison cells by a below ground steam tunnel that connects the buildings. There are rumors that at least one soldier died while in the tunnel. Known to communicate by tapping on the pipes along the walls, the staff at the castle has dubbed this spirit Mr. Boots. Mr. Boots! <laughs> you, I, you know when I'm gonna love something and you know I love Mr. Boots. I know, I just can't think of- You don't have to tell me anything else about him, I love Mr. Boots! Recently, when a local news crew from Kansas City toured the steam tunnel, the tour guide asked Mr. Boots to let its presence be known by tapping on the pipes. Nothing. Again, the tour guide asked. And again, nothing. Thinking they were out of luck, the news crew cut the cameras and in the news reporter's own words, quote, right when we stopped recording, we went and turned around and you heard ding, 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 end quote. Still shaken, the news reporter went on to say that upon hearing the tapping, the entire crew ran out of the steam tunnel as fast as they could. Unfortunately, Mr. Boots is not the only supernatural being inhabiting the steam tunnel. There have been rumblings of a truly evil spirit said to be squatting in the cramped and darkened space. 
described as a large man. This unwelcomed ghost is of someone who allegedly mistreated the children back when the orphanage was still open. Those who are unlucky enough to encounter him speak of an aggressive and oppressive feeling. So to end our investigation, we'll explore the steam tunnel individually. All right, there it is. Put your head on this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that looks like a fucking nightmare. All right, well, I'll head down there. What are you gonna do? I'll Chill here? Piss my pants. Okay, well, good luck with that. I don't like that I'm not gonna be able to escape this thing fast if I have to. No, you sure won't. So maybe I'll go halfway. No, you'll have to go all the way down the end. Eh, maybe I'll go. Yeah, you'll go, to, you'll go to the end. I think I'll go halfway. No. Not stoked. Not stoked to do this. How did this become my life? Anybody down here? Is there a Mr. Boots here? I've heard absolutely wonderful things about a Mr. Boots. And that's more drippy drips. Okay, gonna continue down the steam tunnel. Ideally we get down there and Shane's just dead. And then we could have, we could end the investigation and I could go home. Obviously very sad, thoughts and prayers, but I don't have to go down there then. So, lose a best friend, don't have to go in the tunnel. I think it comes out to be a wash, to be honest, so. You know, feel free to talk into this microphone or kill me, one of those two things. Or do both, you know, kill me and then pick up my little EVP thing here and say, I fucking killed that guy. That works too. Here we go. Did you hear that, Mr. Boots? Any spiders down there? Um, uh, yes, quite a few. Really? Yeah, there's a ton. Oh. I don't like I that. brushed one off of me. No, you didn't. I did. Fuck. You're rarely afforded the opportunity to walk down a long tunnel and stand at the end of it in total darkness. And, you know, I'm not about to look a gift horse in the mouth. I don't take it for granted. Now, Mr. Boots, I know that's your name down here. Just know that if I see you, I am going to piss myself, scream, and then try and fight you, because that's all I know how to do. You would respond then with, that's what you would do. Any of you at home, you ever walk down a, a long dark tunnel and then stay there for a while? Probably not, because it's scary. It's a scary thing to do, but uh, I recommend it. You know, if you see a drain pipe in your town and you wonder, what's down there? Is it Pennywise? Go check it out. Don't tell anyone you're going. <laughs> My name is Ryan. What's your name? What? Can you say apple tater again? How about spaghetti? Can we get a nice little spaghetti? My greatest hope is that I farted so bad at the end of that tunnel that it makes Ryan Bergara throw up. Do you want to keep talking to me? Oh my God, I just heard Ryan. Let me, Ryan. Okay. So you do want to talk. I turn Ryan again. Fuck me. Holy shit. I am not my fear. I am stronger than my fear. Okay, let's talk. What do you want to talk about? One more place left. And that's it. And then um, we don't have to listen to that spirit box ever again. Can we finish that episode with me smashing the spirit box with a hammer? I'll personally pay for it. I'll Venmo BuzzFeed money if they let me smash the spirit box with a hammer. Or my fucking boot or on Ryan's head. I'll chew it like a sandwich. I'll swallow it and shit it out. I'm ready to destroy it. Uh, but this has been fun. What's your name? Come on, try harder. You could do it. What's your name? What the fuck? Oh shit! Oh shit! Holy shit! 
Uh, sorry if I freaked out, but that's the scariest thing I have ever heard on one of these investigations. I just heard my name loud and fucking clear, not on the spirit box. Holy shit. What? Huh? Hello? Hello? Okay, well that sucks. Who was that? Hi? Who's down here with me? Who? Go? Go where? Well, you don't have to ask me twice. Fuck that. Brian, did you not hear me calling you? Oh, you motherfucker. That was good. Holy shit. You really scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, I got you good. Really happy that you're taking this investigation seriously. Well, you know, we have to have a little fun at the end of them. Was that good? So the first two voices were you, then. Ryan, the Ryan. The Ryan. Good, good. Because I did hear two really fucking clear Ryans on the spirit box. Really? Yeah. Uh, did you make it all the way to the end? I did. Good, I'm proud of you. Then no I spiders, I was just kidding about that. Then I stayed the rest of the way in the middle, because fuck that. Sure. Well, I am certainly glad to be leaving that place. One more left. One more left. Goodbye, steam tunnel. Goodbye, castle. Goodbye, dormitories. Goodbye, prison cells. Oh, and most of all, goodbye, Mr. Boots. Goodbye, Mr. Boots. You were pleasant. Funny And that you, I guess, kind of talked to me. See you later. Oh, shit, I almost tripped down the stairs. Built to be a beacon of friendship, charity, and benevolence, the Pythian castle was instead the site of tragedy and horror. A great stone fortress that was home to so many in need but whether those spirits will ever escape still remains unsolved.